Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy George, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, you're going to be checking out the new Jade Cargill Battle Pass and seeing what you have to do to complete it and also what you get back for completing it. So that being said, let's get right into the video. Also, if you guys want the Battle Pass for cheap, make sure you message me on Instagram. My username will be on screen for you guys right now. Like I said, hit me up on there. I can show you a good deal for the Battle Pass. But with that being said, let's get right into the video right then guys welcome back to the video as you guys can see a new battle pass region jade cargill is available starting today yes in fact it is we are in the game now let's have a quick look at the battle pass a superstar science bright new quest new collectible event and war games is also gonna be in the game there we go the battle pass is here now and as you already know what the jade cargill battle pass card looks like it looks amazing i will be copying this battle pass i can't wait to get it oh man this card is gonna be awesome yes i know you guys are gonna be questioning whether there will be or will not be a new tier doesn't really matter this card will still be decent and it'll be a cool card for you guys to have in your collection so level one you guys get what 25 picks and the jade cargill card obviously if you buy the battle pass level two you get the jade cargill portrait image which is a cold image oh my lord that image is going to be so good on other cards of hers in the future then level three you get a bat reducer for pvp level four you get 300 super coins and a time reducer for fusions level five you get a what's that Performance Center perk, which is decent. Level six, you get 300 super coins. Level seven, you get bronze pack up to Tundra and a Jade Cargill card back, which looks absolutely insane, bro. That looks nuts. Oh my Lord, that looks amazing. I'm gonna want that. Then level eight, you get a Performance Center perk again. Level nine, 400 super coins. Level 10, 250 credits, so 500 credits. Level 11, you get a uh, bout re time reducer for team events. Then level 12, you get 500 super coins. Level 13, you get another 500 super coins and a China attitude. Interesting with an extra 200 super coins. Level 14, you get an RDP pick. Level 15, you get 650 super coins. Level 16, you get uh, a silver pack up to rumble and a money in the bank uh, time reducer. So that's not bad. Then level, what's that? Level 17, you get a gold pack up to rumble. Level 18, you get 800 super coins. Level 19, you get, uh, what's that? Three RDP picks. Level 20, you get a Jade Cargill attitude. I'm that, that looks really, really cool with an extra 200 super coins. Level 21, you get 900 super coins. Level 22, you get a silver pack up to rumble and a platinum pack up to rumble, which ain't too bad. Level 23, you get two RDP picks. Level 24, you get 1000 super coins. Level 25, you get a gold pack up to Rumble and then the Jade Cargo for a pro. Should you buy the Battle Pass, then you get it for a pro. So all in all, that is looking super awesome. I cannot wait to get my hands on this card. It's going to be an awesome card for me to have. Obviously, let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are going to be sending for these. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys. I'm not going to be opening any more packs for, for, for Bron. I don't need him. Be nice to get a third F3, but don't really need him. I have not been playing much of LMS as well. I mean, you guys could say... I haven't played much. I've got 107,000 7, points, but genuinely speaking, I actually haven't played that much because I don't really need to. I don't think... Uh, all I'm going for is the image. So yeah, plus this Jade Cargill, should you, uh, should you guys decide to go for it, will pretty much be on the same level as that Rhea Ripley card, bar maybe one or two stats, but then you can bump that up with an equipment card. So you're basically getting a good, basically getting an event card from the Battle Pass. So with that being said, if you guys can't be asked to play four days of LMS, don't do it. But with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. If you guys have liked the video, please like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to be copying the battle pass. And with that being said, that's been boy George, and I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye!